Hello fellow citizens and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tony, this is the 15 Minute Gamer channel and we are back with Star Citizen. It is Thursday, which can only mean one thing. It is inside Star Citizen time where we have a look at some of the upcoming stuff in the game. In today's episode, we're going to have a look at the Perseus and handheld tractor beam. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So the Perseus is built around destroying other ships and it's going to be built around a fleet. So in this fleet you'd have the capital ships, then you'd have say the Javelin which is going to be the destroyer. You'd have the Idris which is your carrier so that's to deliver fighters into the battle. You have your Polaris which is like a long range torpedo boat and the Hammerhead which is there to kind of take on fighters. And for those who've manned the turrets on the Hammerhead, you know what I mean, it's quite a lot of fun. However, what was missing was something between the Hammerhead and the Polaris. So something that could take on them fighters, but also take on bigger ships. And that's where the Perseus comes in from. So it sits in between them too. It is made to deal with large ship threats and smaller ones. And the size of the guns on the front of this thing are huge. It's going to be able to do some damage. And it's also got a little gun on top, which is going to take out the smaller ships. It is built around them large turrets. It looks very unique in how it is, and it's made by RSI. A lot of people went mad for this ship when they saw it on the uh, Intergalactic. And to be fair, I was even tempted to melt my whole fleet to get it, because I think it looks awesome. So it looks very unique. Its brief was for a four-man crew. It's all they wanted, four men to look after it. However, once they got involved, they kind of went, well, so, okay, so you got the captain... You've got the gunners, and then you've got, say, an engineer or kind of cap, you know, that sort of role. They've now made it a six-man. That's what they're recommending. So you're four in the positions you'd expect, and then two kind of milling around doing engineering tasks. They've made it very easy to navigate. It's over three decks. Its lure is kind of the cargo and lure turret. The middle deck has most of the rooms, like, you know, like canteen, that sort of thing, you can imagine. And it's straight through as well. So if you're in at one end, you can get straight to the other end and get quickly up to the other areas, turrets, cargo, that sort of thing. And then the top deck has the bridge, and I think it said state rooms as well. And it is designed for fleet gameplay so it's made for all these fleets that are going to be inside star citizen eventually and this will just sit nicely it's you know it can do planetary landings all right it can hold vehicles for your fleet like the ursa rover can fit in there by looks of the pictures and yeah i think it's going to be awesome i'm really looking forward to seeing this in the game when it gets there Next up is the tractor beam, so it can move objects around the world, kind of like the gravity gun if you've ever played like Half-Life, that sort of thing. It's a multi-tool attachment for the moment. It can move cargo crates, you can rotate them around, it means you can place them in your ship a little bit easier rather than carrying. We all know carrying's just a chore. It's the future after all, we want to be able to lift things up. Um, if you're in more gravity, obviously it'll be harder to move. It can lift up to 250 kilograms max. And if you're lifting something heavier, the beam will be more likely to bend and possibly break. If it's something light like a can, it's just going to move it around everywhere. They're still tuning the lag and acceleration of objects. So that's going to take time to work on. And also, not just a tractor beam, it also has a second function, kind of like a grapple hook or kind of like a Spider-Man. Like you can latch on to walls and move yourself closer to them as you say EV in around. So if you want to get your ship door quicker, you can just go boop and you're straight there. So that looks a lot of fun. You can see all the video footage in the background. They did say, just to round it off, that there was some stuff that they've had to take out because it would probably break the game. I would love to know what it is. I probably guess picking up NB NPCs because I was like, yeah, it's probably the first thing I would try. And that's it for Inside Star Citizen this week. Very little. It's a little one, but very in-depth. I like the Perseus stuff and also the tractor beam. And the gravity gun kind of grapple hook thing sounds awesome. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with more next time. Goodbye.